ERCP stands for Endoscopic Retrograde Cholangiopancreatography, and it's a procedure that's used to explore diseases of the bile duct system and the pancreas. The most common utilization of ERCP is for stone disease of the bile duct. And what that means is that you have a blockage somewhere in the bile duct, usually caused by gallstones. Blockage of the bile duct, though, may expand to more than just blockage with a gallstone. Malignancy, narrowing of the bile duct can all cause blockages in the bile, in the bile duct system. The great thing about ERCP is that it goes just beyond just diagnosis. When we do an ERCP, it allows us to make a diagnosis of the problem and at the same time provide treatment. The benefit of an ERCP is immediate relief of a potential blockage in the bile duct system or a disease of the pancreas. However, being as challenging procedure as it is, ERCP does have its complications. Pain, infection, bleeding, as can happen with any procedure, are possible complications with ERCP. Unique to ERCP is the possibility of pancreatitis, or inflammation of the pancreas, and that's perhaps the biggest concerning complication with this procedure. So usually, when we go to ERCP, it tends to be the last resort. If there are less invasive or more minimally invasive techniques at arriving at a diagnosis or providing therapeutic intervention, we tend to pursue those first. And then we decide on ERCP once those have failed or if any of those are not an option for your particular disease. During the procedure, patients receive sedation. Sedation is either provided by the nurse, the GI nurse, or through anesthesia. Once a patient is laid down uh, on their left, on their stomach, I should say, in the prone position, the scope is inserted through the mouth, and we work the scope down into the first part of the small intestine where the bile ducts meet. The next step in ERCP is to go through the bile, through the opening of the bile duct in the small intestine, and provide diagnostic and therapeutic intervention. Typically. ERCP is considered an outpatient procedure, so recovery from ERCP tends to be immediate. So usually after ERCP, patients, or we tell patients to go home and relax and take it easy. Um, most patients are able to go back to their normal daily functions the following day.